Hello, Leo darlings. I'm Laurel. And welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Leo Darlings, 1st through the 15th. Let's see what's going down. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Massage for the gods. All right, Leo Darlings, you definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, I feel like you're just not all the way clear or someone is not being all the way clear. Could be something that you're having to cut, uh, cut off with the Queen of Swords energy. But based off of the pre-shuffle, I was feeling like someone is trying to find love here. Could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius energy, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like someone could have been married here. Four of Wands, right? Justice. Someone could have been married, Leo. Okay, that there was some sort of justice that came in. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'm feeling like for some of you guys, uh, overall, it could be someone that you're having to make a final decision with. Could be uh, some things from the past. But I am seeing that there could have been a situation where you guys were having to cut a connection off or there was just too much going on um, as to things being fair or having fair play. All right. So, Leo darlings, let's see how this person views you. I feel like you're coming out of a lot of uh, insecurities, a lot of things that made you feel insecure. Um, you could have been feeling stuck. Could have been dealing with a Gemini as well. I feel very strong uh, air energy here, Leo. Could be some communication as well. But I'm feeling with the lovers in reverse, it could be someone who's uh, who you could have had some passion or a connection with, a romantic connection. Um, but I feel um, that you're going to be coming into some sort of communication with them. So, let's see. How they feel about you. How they feel about you, Leo. For the 1st through the 15th. Okay, so. Two of Cups, Five of Cups. Leo, they definitely feel like there's a soulmate connection here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could be feeling like you just lied too much or it's too much plotting and planning going on. You got the Five of Cups energy here. Also, Seven of Swords. So I feel like this person feels as though, you know, there could be a lot of deception surrounded by this energy or someone was uh, testing someone is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Testing, testing one, two, three, five of wands as well. So definitely having a lot of competition or a lot of people, a lot of struggle is how they're viewing you. Okay. Could be bringing in some competition, but I feel with the five of cups, they feel like they've missed out on something is how they feel about you. Right. I, I definitely see that someone could have had some sort of commitment here in the past or has some commitment issues. All right. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. They're definitely viewing you as somebody who, um, you know, has a lot to choose from. Too many people, too many things that could be stopping them with the Seven of Cups and also the Five of Swords. So it could be someone. It's a lot of fives here, Leo. This is your, your number, baby. That creativity. Someone might need to use their creativity or could be using clever tricks to um, signal, okay, or somebody sending some back signals. Also could be just you're using your intuition um, by sending signals out. But I feel that they're definitely viewing you as someone who has too many things going on, a lot of people, a lot of struggles, a lot of options here, okay? So let's see their intentions. 
I feel like in some of the in their intentions, it could be that they're juggling multiple things. Okay, could have been that there was someone who was stuck in the situation, but it's definitely someone who's getting ready to close out a cycle with the Wheel of Fortune coming in, coming in reverse. All right, someone has definitely closed those doors. So I feel like you're kind of stuck in between, you know, going somewhere or going somewhere with someone or being with someone you're stuck is what i'm seeing here uh or they're stuck their intentions are definitely to close the door you could be dealing with a sagittarius or the temperance energy but someone is definitely wanting to gain their balance and closing the door okay two of swords also temperance energy world energy definitely some cycles closing out for you leo all right also definitely could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius but this person's intentions is definitely some sort of third party situation or a buildup. Okay, with a third party, possibly with the three of pentacle energy. So someone could be, um, you know, starting something up as well with the three of pentacles. Uh, it could be with a third party, is what I'm seeing here. Now, some of y'all could be dealing with someone who's having to think outside of the box, but with the jump it, with the uh, judgment energy, <coughs> some of y'all could be dealing with. Um, Someone who needs to talk to uh, Angel Gabriel, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to really figure themselves out here, okay? So I feel with their intentions, it could be that there's some sort of injustice that could have happened. They definitely feel like um, there was, it could be someone who's like, you know, being unresourceful. Um, someone who's who's not utilizing all of their gifts and their abilities, Okay. With their intentions definitely virgo taurus capricorn cancer pisces scorpio leo sagittarius aries energy but i feel with their intentions they're definitely restricted it could be wanting to end a situation with the ten of swords here feeling backstabbed all right they feel like they're kind of limited in what it is they're going to do but they're coming out of that but i do feel um leo that they feel backstabbed in their intentions they could be closing the door yeah definitely with the three of sword energy here so, Leo, someone could be closing that door, trying to leave behind a third-party situation that caused a lot of backstab, caused a lot of um, blind, blinding, um, binding too. Okay. So, let's see who's lying. All right, definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo. Could be Pisces here as well. Also, Aries. Someone could be lying about making an action towards building with the emperor energy here or uh, a solid foundation is what I'm seeing. They could be lying about also with the moon card. Um, it's kind of like the truth has already set itself out. Someone could be lying about um, communication with a possible Pisces could be in their sun, moon arising. But I'm really seeing here a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone who's being deceptive about coming out of the cold with someone or going back and forth with them, all right? Now, bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles, someone who could have been holding on to a possible Taurus, also third-party situation here is what I'm seeing. So, could be some movement, or also Cancerian energy, okay, with this chariot, but I feel with the strength in reverse, um, it's kind of like it throws you off a little bit, Leo, how this person moves, right? Could be that... Um, Cancerian energy, how they move sideways. All right. So let's get a new deck going. And let's see what you don't see. Okay. So I feel like there's definitely someone who could have blocked some energy off. Four of cups. Okay. Could have um, decided to reject an offer, or reject some sort of message here. Um, but I'm seeing here a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone. Uh, what you don't see is that they're unhappy. Okay, they have a hard time building. Like I like I said, this person is definitely wanting to. Um, it's like they have a hard time building up with you. Okay, they could be having a hard time bringing in offers. But I do see underneath the surface, someone is just tired of the situation. They're just trying to give up. All right, trying tired of holding. All of the weight. So it looks to me like somebody needs to sit their ass down. Okay, Leo. Uh, you could be jumping to a lot of conclusions as well. Or someone could be jumping to conclusions 
under the surface. Uh, but I feel like you want that factual information with this Queen of Swords before someone comes running to you, Leo. Right? Uh, you could be dealing with just cutting someone off. Possible Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy as well. Also Taurus here for sure. But I'm feeling like with the Queen of Wands could be a lot of promiscuous type of energy. Or someone is definitely like, you know, willing to sleep around uh, for some of you all to get that prize or to feel accomplished. This world energy right next to the Queen of Wands. All right. So be aware of that person and putting themselves out there. Could be dealing with a possible Aquarius for sure because this came out twice with the star energy. I feel like um, for some of you all, what you don't see is someone wants to come out of the cold with you, but they feel it might be foolish with the five of pentacles energy in the reverse. Okay. Uh, someone could be also feeling like, you know, there's not enough um, opportunity here or you're not pushing enough of your weight or someone could have a different, you know, pay scale or pay uh, raise than the other. So I am feeling like for some of you all, uh, someone wants to communicate with uh, the Eight of Wands, but I feel like they're kind of afraid to have a jump start or a restart here. Okay, it could be Scorpio. I feel like someone's made a final decision. Here you are, Leo, with the Strength Energy and also the Hangman. So someone is definitely hanging around. Wow, Tower. So could be someone who shakes some things up here. Someone has a lot of... Um, Courage, all right. Someone is letting go with this hangman, and also could be a businessman, businesswoman. That Virgo energy, you guys have been getting that for quite some time. Also, uh, Leo's another Leo Sagittarius Aries. So it could be a shakeup that's happened, a sudden change. Could be a businessman, businesswoman um, that made this shakeup happen for you, Leo. But I'm definitely seeing here it could be a lot of struggles coming in. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. Wow, Five of Swords as well. So, Leo, be aware of a lot of mind games, brain games, lies, and deception. Okay, I feel this person, is, you already know, could be deceiving you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be someone from the past as well with the Six of Cups that you're no longer in admiration for or have passion. All right? Possible outcomes. I do see someone is getting their foundation together. Okay. Uh, it could be commitments, contracts, things of that nature. But I feel there's this vibe of getting a relationship together. But you have a lot of fives here. So there could be a lot of losses that you might suffer from. Or someone might, <coughs> excuse me, try to pull the rug from up under you. But I do see you're getting your stability back. Okay. The hair of font. So a lot of you all are really making decisions here. Okay. It could be some financial decisions. Um, someone could be thinking of things traditionally, all right, but I feel like there is some sort of marriage or some commitment here, but I feel like it's definitely due to, um, someone bringing on that passion with this devil energy here, some obsessions and toxicity. So I feel there could be someone who's been, uh, you know, sitting in observation, watching you could be in a third party situation, but definitely some sex energy here with this devil could be a Capricorn. But I'm definitely feeling like a lot of you all feel like it's an injustice or uh, someone was not being, they're being too detached. Leo, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And with this Hermit energy, someone is isolating themselves. All right. Page of Cups could be trying to receive some sort of offer. King of Wands. So a lot of you all are dealing with someone that you're making a final decision about. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords, also Judgment. So, Leo, I feel like this person was definitely being deceptive or you were being deceptive to them. But I feel there's a final decision that's being made. Could have been due to um, with this King of Wands and also with the King of Swords. I feel a lot of you guys could be um, dealing with someone who's detached themselves. But they're also making final decisions. Could have been that they were hurt due to a soulmate or a connection. Someone's coming in pretty angry here, okay? But I feel you're going to be getting equal opportunity coming to you, Leo. All right. Even though you might have this turmoil or whatever's happening, but someone wants to give and receive, even though you're letting go. OK, definitely some third party situations here for sure, Leo. But I feel the connection is definitely being strong. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Here we go. OK, 
trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, Leo. All right. Also, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bonds deepen. So you could be, you know, getting to know someone, getting to see their bad side, good side, whatever the case may be. Um, and also pay attention to red flags. And for some of you all could be unrequited love as well. Damn, these two came out um, on their own. The signs are cautioning you. This is not, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So pay attention to those red flags. A lot of you all are dealing with unrequited love or not enough attraction or someone is just really turning you off. But it's also saying to have faith and trust in the situation. Um, even though you could be dealing with that soulmate type of energy that could be karmatic and that it's in that merry-go-round type of energy. Okay. I love you, Leo. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, therosemoon.com. We have the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. All right. Peace.